Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Yasser Arafat. I am from IT Research Institute, Joseon University, Korea. Uh, today I am going to present my uh, paper, The New Paradigm of Safe and Sustainable Transportation, Urban Air Mobility. The table of content of the paper con contains the like introduction about the urban air mobility and it's then uh, we'll talk about the uh, unmanned aerial vehicles uab and we will explain the what is uh, urban air mobility and operational concept of um and communication technique in urban air mobility and finally we will show some open issues and the challenges and the paper will be concluded after some conclusion so let's go in introduction the uh, Recently, urban air mobility is a revolutionary air transportation system that's enable on demand air travel to enable successful air transportation. Efficiency management of a large scale aircraft in a critical factor to consider. In, um, in the dynamic environment, it is very difficult to establish control rules due to the uncertainty. Uh, to ensure the security and safety in both passenger and unmanned air vehicles, the UM fits needs to air traffic management system. However, um, regular infrastructure requirement, operational robustness, communication still need to be proven in, in RDSA. In this paper, basically we summarize the challenge of development of UM in wide environment. The paper overview the discussion potential barrier uh, to the UM system in terms of communication, control, and operation. And uh, finally, we'll show uh, we'll present some open issues and research challenges. As shown in the, in the figure, the UM market is projected to grow 1.5 1,500 billion by 2014, which is a kind of big market. And now. Uh, is a kind of big research area. The urban air, uh, the um, unmanned aerial vehicles, uh, mostly is known as the drone. Uh, the there are huge revolution of the drone technology in the recent times, and uh, we can show in the figures the like. Uh, low altitude UAB, which is known as the like small drone, and the high altitude UAB, which is also uh, like uh, can be the including the personal aerial vehicles, which is uh, known as the FAB, and uh, and FAB is mostly considered as a uh, urban air mobility or supported by the BTOL, and to with the existing existing uh, aeroplane. And, and there, there are also the satellite and the uh, hierarchical um, like um, uh, vehicles technology is included in the current existing system, which makes uh, some uh, difficulties in the application deployment. The classification of UAB HAPS and satellites is given uh, as in the slide, the mostly the UAB is including uh, like the uh, mostly consider the low altitude and which is size small size and the run by the battery and limited charging capacity. But HAPS are kind of like a, a high range capacity with a, a very high power and computational power and which is have the link between the satel uh, satellite and the ground as well as. The satellites are the large and periodical mostly uh, run by the solar panel and battery and have the communication with the ground vehicles. Uh, as soon as uh, showing the figure, the PAB is uh, sh shown in the figure, the personal air vehicles. Mostly uh, the urban air mobility has attracted significant attention due to its potential uh, ground traffic, uh, potential to the elevating ground traffic conjunction. The, the unmanned aerial system, also known as the known unmanned aerial vehicles or drone, have experienced a surge in the uses of recent year, especially in the civilian, civilian application. Uh, 
to reduce the transportation time, avoid the ground traffic, and eliminate point to point flight between the cities. It is uh, imperative to explore the evolution mobility concept and paradigm. UM, UM has the potential of revolution in the aviation industry and dispute mobility system and urban planning. Uh, recent technology development and the electro application automation and the uh, beetle especially uh, the vehicular uh, vehicle takeoff and landing which create the opportunity for the new air traffic design service and the business model these factors are coming together to create the new possibility on demand um vehicles to, for the transportation goods and uh, move people across the city This is some application of the HAPS for the uh, like uh, the good transportation and uh, like uh, uh, parcel delivery and like that. And this is the UM application. The UM application in terms of the uh, the case one is the, uh, the good delivery or uh, parcel delivery, the public safety and emergency services, and uh, as well as it can be used for the integration air yeah, traffic services by using the uh, like hierarchical network layer. And the uh, the most important is the passenger transportation. And the operational concept of UM uh, due to the beetle capability, this demand differed the significant from the commercial airlines. The aircraft will start from the airport known as the Barry port and will have a maintain the specific rules and guidance to avoid the collision with others aircraft and uh, avoid high-rise building also like uh, the, the air traffic control rules and restrictions since the altitude will be the same with the aircraft will be close to the ground the collision evidence is a significant uh, issues in addition um, like um, uh, uh, the weather, wind, and the cloud are also the crucial factor for the design consideration. The basic, the basic UM design factor affect the selection of the particular air type, aircraft type, and the subsequently design the specific uh, specification uh, based on the range, capacity, speed, and its operational uh, concept. Um, the, although the concept of the UM has been around the while, the gradually taking sharper in the certain ways. Its application to specifically need to aircraft varies greatly, um, but uh, mostly the the aircraft uh, communication system uh, have two part: the control system and the data communication system. The control system mostly the control uh, for the controlling the like uh, how, controlling the unmanned vehicles uh, or uh, for the in terms of the swarm communication and also the communication system, the data communication system to make communication with the other vehicles as well as ground vehicles. The communication technique UM uh, have significant uh, issues. Uh, for example, the data data type, the mostly is can be used by the, uh, the for the communication is can be used in the ad hoc manner as well as uh, by using the 4G and 5G network. The spectrum and the car uh, carrier frequency is another Another use the, for the control and command, including the information related to the flight control and safety, navigation, and communication. And for the spectrum and the carrier frequency, uh, communication system has consisted bandwidth and the transportation uh, spectrum. To implement the UM communication system, modified frequency band can be used. Uh, 6 gigahertz and third generation uh, partnership project and the millimeter wave uh, can be used for this. Uh, communication reliability should be a great consideration. Uh, because um, by using by using the HAP and the satellite, the communication reliability can be ensured. The network topology, uh, as these uh, vehicles are very highly mobile, mobile, so the network topology is a consider uh, good uh, issues to maintain the topology for the communication. The navigation, the high accuracy position system will be necessary as a number of the UM nodes in case the for the suitably awareness and so the deployment of robust stacking system and fusion network is, is a greatly important and most another one is the collision detection and uh, the collision detection uh, is necessary to for the in any any flying devices as well as the collision between 
uh, like the unmanned vehicles itself with others. And also uh, another important parameter is the air traffic management uh, management system. UM operators should be communicate their flight plans, routes, and intention to the ATC while ATC provide the information about the airspace restriction, weather condition, and the traffic management. The open uh, research issues and challenge to design the UM successfully and su uh, and suitable economically and the uh, like appropriate transportation UM face the obstacle including the public acceptability and the public safety. Many many of the literature in the existing work they work for the uh, UM design and UM communication. But in as well as uh, like the path planning, the also uncertainty, uh, uncertainty our routing plan, and uh, also most important, the moreover the deployment of virtual and UM will certainly need significant cooperation and investment for the both private and government sector. Um, in addition, like uh, UM encounters various challenges for the safety issue, ATC regulation, noise public acceptability, weather condition, environment implementation, uh, infrastructure, and security. The UM concept successful or failure will also significantly influenced by the uh, requirement for the minimum, minimum noise emotion, which is a large concern of the public acceptance. Despite aiming to the full, uh, provide the safe, sustainable, uh, and, ex and inexpensive and uh, accessible mobility, UM must be dealt with a certain uh, like concern, including the social equality, public acceptance, noise and safety issues. Uh, to successfully deployment UM technology, some the key requirement, for example, uh, key requirement must be meet. For example, the like the collision evidence, uh, robustness in the weather condition. Uh, that means like uh, to ensure the unsure, uh, uncertainty, uh, award uh, path planning. And noise is another issues for the public perspective. Here is the reference for uh, use for this paper. And thank you, everyone, for your time.